hi and welcome back to another video this is basically a quick update to some of the things that has been done um, what is being done now and what is left to be done then hopefully we are going to have this building project come to its completion so as it stays now um, the plastering is being done for the outside the inside is done so currently the plasterboard so we use plasterboard for the ceiling so that has been installed there'll be a different video to talk about um, the ceiling so you get to know what went into this installation of the ceiling the cost of it as well as the materials to use for that currently they are also doing the scheming um, works as well as um, the plastering so that is what is currently being done and the electrical works has also been completed in terms of the second phase so the electrical works was in three phases the first one was the piping the second one was the wiring and then the third one would be the installation of the uh, sockets which is fans and and so on lights and so on and also for the porch we are looking at having design blocks um, laid over there instead of using Bali Street. I was thinking having design um, design blocks would be a good option to go with. So that is um, underway. Um, you can see the type of design blocks that is going to be used. It's going to be three cores. There's going to be three cores of it and there will be concrete, uh, small size concrete cast on top of it. And then there's also going to be pillar at the entrance. So that is going to be for the porch section. And then once that is done, you get to see that as well. Now also for the outside ceiling, initially I was just looking at using some of the roofing sheets to do that. However, um, I got someone who installed TNG, that is the Ghana made TNG, not long ago and decided to take them off and do something else. So I decided to just get uh, the used TNG, which still looks clean. It's just some dirt on it so after washing. It looks clean. You get to see some of the ones um, that have been washed. So I decided to just go for it and then use it for the outside ceiling. So it saves me some cost um you know what you got to that so that is what is going to be used for the outside ceiling instead of the roofing sheet to be using the tng for that so that is um, going to be done once the plastering for the outside is done entirely and then we will get to install the tngs for that and then also after that um we install the lights and everything so you get to see it so there's going to be different videos talking about the ceiling for instance as well as the electrical works for instance if in case um you haven't watched my electrical video or the wiring video you should check that using the card at the top and then also there's going to be um a different video talking about the door yeah one thing i forgot to mention is that the door has also been installed so we used um a techish door security door and uh, i'll have some few things to share with you about my experience with that as well especially being able to identify the quality type of Turkish door and not being so the Chinese door as Turkish door. So those are some of the things that would be good to know so that once you're on the market to buy some of your materials, you're able to distinguish or identify which one is, you know, original or quality compared to the other. So that will be in a different video talking about specifically about the security door, its features and um, yeah, even its installation as well. So um, I think that is what has been done or being done now what is left to be done is also the installation of the liver blade so with the liver blade we'll have to paint the windows with oil paint before we can install the liver blades now that is going to be done once the scheming or the drill is done at the top as well as the plastering is done outside especially for the plastering because if it's painted before the plastering is done on the sides which are left it is still going to you know catch a lot of these um, uh, mortar so once the plastering is done outside then we're going to paint and then after painting we'll install the um, louver blades for all the rooms so the louver blades have also been bought the cost of it and its installation will be in a different video once we get there and that has been done so we are not there yet so and then also what is also left to be done which will be i'm um, thinking will be uh last part one is going to be the the tile the tiling work so um, as it stays now i haven't really decided on the type of tiles that i'm going to use yet um, however um once it gets there 
go to the market and see what I'm going to get. I must admit that at this very moment I'm broke. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because uh, some of the material costs um, I thought were going to be a little bit on the low side apparently uh, has increased and the rest so it's drained some of my, oh, yeah, my resources or my money. So I'm holding on what the towel works for now. Once everything is done and I uh, have some money, um, I'll be able to do the towers. However, if you also want to support me, be able to do the towel works. Yeah, I have got my number in the description. It has been there for a very long time. It's interesting. Some people find it and do call me, and some too don't find it. Yeah, so you get to. Um, more money <laughs> contributions or donations is welcome paypal welcome and yeah if you also want to get in touch as well i'm available to yeah but i most of the time prefer emails as compared to talking on phone because uh, I'm, most of the time if not driving um you know doing some other works and the rest so however yeah so the tiles will be done and then once the tiles is done the final work it's going to be the painting and then also with regard to the painting i actually have kind of colors that i want to use in mind however these are colors i've used before in the past in my, in my office and and that's where i currently live i'm thinking of trying something different yeah so I, i'll still look at ideas of what is going to work and then i'll try that and then also not forgetting the um bathroom where as well as the kitchen where that is the basin the sink and and so on so um, for the washroom I'm thinking of having the basin uh, sit on top of um, it's, uh, it's sort of like a marble it's not necessarily a marble it's uh, is it a chipboard no, not a chipboard I think it's a marble yeah it's marble if it's not marble stone so the um, basin is going to be on top of it you're going to create a hole so there's the pipe or the waste gets into the drainage and then goes away and then we are going to have some sort of um, small drawers installed underneath it so you're able to keep towels soap and um, tea rolls and other stuff in it and then also for the WC we'll just be using a normal WC which is um, flash on top of it with the small or the slim size um, water storage and then for the shower they're going to basically use a telephone shower so um, yeah I think that is what is going to be done over there now for the kitchen it's either we are going to be using two you know a sink with the two um, spots or one I I don't really know which one um, to use yet but I'm just still looking at it and then also for the kitchen the worktop is going to be um, either marble or stone so that um, you know with heat and the rest it's not going to be a problem so these are some of the things that are yet to be done I, I know I still have a long way to go even though things are beginning to get into shape but it's it's been a project I have been so much excited working on uh, at least I can't wait to move in to enjoy this beautiful scenery over here and fresh 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 air to breathe yeah I, I must admit I like how calm and peaceful this place is that's it's one of the reasons that has called me to you know try to get this done and be able to um, move in so hopefully uh, I hope I come out of my brokenness in terms of my pocket soon and be able to finish what is left to be done. However, that is, these are some of the things that are done or being done or yet to be done to have this whole project come to its completion. So I'll do what to share more with you um, throughout this project, you know, as we started um, from the foundation, blocking up, um, roofing and, and to plumbing and so on. We'll definitely get through with everything and then once we're done uh, we'll also be sharing with you the experiences living here and some ideas are also good. I'm actually thinking of starting a small farm, um, looking at raising um, fowls like having a poultry farm, layers, um, probably maybe broilers also as part and then also have a small rabbit farm here to keep me busy and also to serve as uh, an extra source of income as compared to what I currently do. So these are some few things that you should be looking forward to in the near future which could be some few days or weeks from now yeah so 
um, that is basically just about it for this update thank you very much for watching in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one